Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Lee Darter. I am an elementary school art teacher and I run the artroomblog.blogspot.com where I post uh, elementary art classes and lessons and just random musings about being an elementary school art teacher. And today we're gonna do a collage. And a collage is when you take a bunch of different pieces of paper. Maybe um, I have some bubble wrap here, bubble prints and a magazine and a map and just some random things. I got some cardboard here and we're gonna cut all those up and we're gonna make a collage fish with a gigantic eye. So the supplies you'll need, I'm gonna flip you around so you can see my board. All right, so this is our collage fish we'll be doing today. And the supplies that you're gonna need are at least two markers, and you want them to be in the same family, but light and dark. So today I'm gonna use lime green and uh, emerald green or dark green, and we're gonna make a big eyed fish. So you'll also need your collage papers, just some random things that you find around the house, an old magazine, I've got, I made some bubble paper, um, here's a cool looking piece of magazine. This came in with some flowers I got from Mother's Day, but it's a really pretty piece of paper. You can also use scrapbook paper. So these are the random pieces of paper that you're gonna need for today's project. The first thing you need is just a plain black, white, I'm sorry, white piece of paper, just like this. And you're gonna cut your eye first. So we're actually gonna do the eye first. And of course for collage you need glue and scissors. So here are my scissors. I'm gonna cut my giant eye. And you wanna do the eye first because you want it to be a little silly. You don't really know where you're going with your fish yet. But you wanna do the eye first so you get some kind of random silly picture. And I've been doing some artist trading cards in a group and these are some I actually did with for my artist trading cards. So I'm doing the big eyed fish for my artist trading cards. So I've cut out my circle. Now I need to get something to draw under because I don't want to get my table all any, any dirtier than it already is because it's pretty messy. I'm going to take my Sharpie or you could use a marker and I'm going to color around the edge all the way around so that there's a nice black line. And I'm just gonna go all the way around with it. Yeah, I just want a nice big black line around it. Get all the white out of it. There we go, that's done. Now I'm going to put another ring and one more. That'll be the pupil. And if you'd like to add highlights, I like to add highlights to mine. So I'm going to do another one. I'm going to color my pupil black. There you go. That's all done. Now I'm going to take my lighter of my two markers and I'm going to color that in. And I like to use the Crayola washable markers because they blend really well. And you can actually use them as watercolor markers on the cheap. So I've got my lighter color in. Now I'm gonna take my darker color and I'm working in the same family of colors, the green. You can pick any two colors you want. And I'm just putting little lines all the way around. And I like to outline the pupil too. So I'm just going all the way around until I get back to where I started. And then I'm going to actually outline the outside edge. And if you see any spaces that are kind of wide, you can go back and put another line in there, which I feel like I needed to do. 
All right, so my eye is done. I feel like I got a little random line going here. I'm gonna color that in. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna put that up there. And now we're gonna start making our fish. So in this one, I made two fish and I used my bubble paper to put bubbles in here and I put some seaweed at the bottom. So I'm gonna find a clean sheet of paper in my journal somewhere. There's gotta be one, there it is. And I'm gonna start creating my fish. So what I like to do is I like to do the body first. So I'm gonna flip through my magazine here. And as you can see, I save all my scraps in my magazine because I just, I think, I think the little pieces are so cool. So do I wanna do that one? I don't know if I'm feeling that one. This is pretty cool. That might make a good fish. Let me keep looking. Trying to decide here. Some of these look kind of fun. Oh, what about this one? That looks kind of cool. Jen Stark. Oh, yeah, let me show you her while we're here. Let's see. Where's the front page? This is some of Jen Stark's work. Oh, these would make great fish. Yep, there she is. Yeah, if you haven't checked out Jen Stark, check out her work. But I think I'm going to use some of her work to make my fish. I am going to use. I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to make the body of my fish. Ooh, I can't decide. It's so good. Jen, you're so good. We love you. I'm going to use this one. So right now, I'm just going to cut the body of my fish. So there's my body and my tail. So I'm just focusing on a very basic shape. Like this. All right, and what I like to do is I like to use a little pad or I use a, oh, these are paper plates to do my gluing on. And I do all the way around the edge and then I do a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle through the middle. That rhymes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right through the middle. And I put my fish on. And I take the top, if you're using a glue stick or you could use something else, you could use your marker cap. And I like to just rub right around the edges and through the middle so that you can get all the edges stuck on. Nice. All right, now, no matter what size you cut your fish, you're going with that eye. That's the cutie part about it. So let me glue my eye on now. I like doing the eye first because it doesn't matter what size you do or shape you do your fish. That eye is the focal point, the main part of your eye or main part of your project. So I'm going to color this in a little bit better here. Got a little white spot showing. All right, now I can start adding details. I can find some little scraps that might make nice not too much white on that, but I do like the gold part, so I'm going to cut the... And I didn't really have a plan. The only plan I really had was the shape of my fish. It's kind of basic. You can see kind of a basic shape here. Oh, yeah, like that. And um, then the rest is kind of random, what fits on it or what I can find in my in my scraps. Let's see... That's kind of cool. So I'm going to make the top fin. So I'm just cutting out some tops and you can do yours this way or you can do it any way you like. I just really, really liked this little scrap here. Yep, I like the way that looks. And then I like to put on um, a side fin as well. And I think what I'd like to use for my side fin was that lovely corrugated paper. 
that I got out of a, um, an Amazon box. I think that'll make a nice side fin there. And how about some lips, some fish lips? Let's see if I can find something that would make good fish lips. Because he's got that cute big eye. He needs some cute lips. I don't know. I think I want to have a different color. I think I want to go with some a brighter, maybe some, a red maybe. Let's see. Sometimes I just don't know if it's going to work or not, and I try a couple different things, but I save them because it may not work on this fish. Yep, like that. So it may not work on this fish, but I could save those lips for another fish, and then I could just have a, a container of fish lips. All right. Fish lips. So there you go. That's how you make a big eyed fish. Now, if you want to add some more stuff like seaweeds down at the bottom, I could do that. I like have this scrap paper that looks like it would make some, some good seaweed down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and play with that. That looks kind of fun. Now I've got a nice piece here. Oh, I like that. Yep. This, this paper made for very good seaweed. Maybe another piece in front there. Just got to glue that all on in place. And maybe some seaweed growing up too. How about that? I like that. That's pretty cool. I just I collage is one of my favorite ways to create art create art create art. Can't talk create art because you can just kind of have an idea of what you want to do and then you can just start adding stuff on and I love all the happy accidents that you find when you're looking through the magazines and the old paper that's pretty cool I think this would make some good bubbles going up so I'll double that over cut some circles out now I want you to notice I'm moving my paper and not my scissors I'm going to show you that again the bubbles coming out of his mouth there. So watch what I do. So I take my piece of paper. I'm going to fold it over because I want a couple bubbles out of this. Now watch my scissors. My scissors are staying in place. It is my paper that's moving. I'm just slightly turning it. I'm ever so slightly turning it. And I can add some bubbles in there. Oh, it jumped off the page. It's very jumpy. There it goes. I think I might like to have another layer of a different color. I think I'm going to use that pretty, this is kind of a, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. It's kind of a fiber paper, but it, I got some flowers for Mother's Day. And it was wrapped up in there. And so I'm going to try making some seaweed out of this. Oh, look how pretty. So I, I try to keep a lot of stuff. I like to recycle things. And I just don't want to throw things away that'll get into the landfill. I'm trying to keep the landfill clean as much as possible. All right, so there we go. Thank you for joining me. And um, I hope you try this. My email is artroomblog at yahoo.com if you'd like to email me. And my Facebook page is artroomblog. And my blog is artroomblog.blogspot.com. It's been great seeing you. Thank you for joining me. Bye.